<clears throat> As you can see, there's been a lot of work going on on the street out in front. Uh, so it's been a little noisy, but that's okay. It needed to be done. Since I last saw you, I uh, did do a little bit of work. I created this lid for the cooler. So I put a piece of quarter inch plywood down and I used some construction adhesive and attached that to the insulation and then also between the insulation and the lid. So I just spread that out around that, put some weights on, uh, made sure it was completely closed and then after that I just put some hinges on, drilled a hole in here for a rope so I can easily lift it up and close it. So in this video I'm going to build the hatch door and uh, I decided to bring this up a little bit. I had to cut this piece here and uh, I didn't do a very good job of explaining that when I was cutting it. So uh, I just uh, basically cut uh, kind of a, uh, a piece here that extends this and then raises this up a little bit because I wanted a little bit more room inside the galley. So I'm going to cut the piece right out of this 2x6. So what I've done is I've drawn a 1 inch line on here. Um, actually the first thing I did was I, I trimmed this down to uh, just over 1 inch to match the width of the wall here. And then I took it back over here, I drew this line, I drew that line for that one inch, and then I found where uh, one and a quarter inches was, was, was this line here. Um, that's the width of the door that I'm going to build, but I'm going to be having this gasket on here which will compress to help keep water out. And so I calculated this is a quarter inch I need. Um, so I found where I had one and a half inches here and so I'm going to cut this out on my bandsaw. I'm going to run this on my table saw until I can and then finish the cut on the bandsaw. So I do extend this little area right here. So I just quickly cut my pieces and glued and screwed that into place. And then some of the uh, plywood came a little loose, so just clamping it in there until it dries. So I cut this out, uh, figured out what the angle was that I needed for the trim on top of here and then figured out what the angle is here. And this looks like it's pretty close to what it needs to be to run this across this way. I do want to mention that I used that polyurethane adhesive to adhere the insulation to the plywood. And I tried it um, between the plastic and the insulation, but uh, I read later that uh, that doesn't work on there, and it didn't. Um, so I had to take that off. What I ended up using was some of this JB Weld. Um, and uh, that worked really well. So now this is on there nice and when I close this it is secured inside the cooler. Alright so now I'm going to build the hatch and uh, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to um, kind of uh, build a, a flat spot down on the bottom. The 
it'll be it'll follow this down to here and then it'll just flatten out here so it'll be a little flat along this end it is just going to be the easiest way for me to do this uh, otherwise I was going to have to have multiple angles and such and I didn't want to deal with that otherwise I'd have to figure out all these angles that would be in these uh, two little triangles. There'd be some compound angles, the ones coming here and the one going that way. Um, I could get it done. I just don't want to have to put in that kind of time and effort into it. This is the hatch that the other person made who I bought this from and it's a little too long so I am putting in this thicker board in here uh, I know it's going to come down to about 27 and 3 quarters. It's going to be cut at an angle. So I'm putting a larger board in. I'm just going to glue that in. And then when it dries, then I can figure out where I need to cut it and what angle and all that. That's ridiculous. cuts. First cut looked like the right angle. Just needed to cut it on the line that I had made. Or so it seemed. Well, looks pretty good to me. Alright, and I'll be able to use these lines here to figure out what, where to cut this. So I can mark it on this side right here, and then on the other side as well. So I've got all three of them glued up. I need to cut the angles on these two over here. So that should match up right here. And it doesn't. Must have had the wrong angle. So then this should just match up right there. Look how nice that looks. So I got all these pieces here. I need to glue them together and then uh, put them into there and then I gotta create some supports in here to make it a little stronger.
All right, so I'm uh, pretty much done with it. Of course, I gotta get insulation in here and skin the outside. So next time, I think I'm going to skin the outside and uh, I'll include skinning this out, this part too. And then uh, I can waterproof this whole outside as well. And then maybe get it back on the trailer. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the support.